So Shockrock versus Atomics, two of the most powerful aliens of Ben in both series, both having energy powers and having those pseudo nuclear or actually nuclear resources and feeds and I think my voice just cracked, I'm sorry. But it's 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 only it's only fit because my name is Crack, so it's normal for me. But yeah, uh, what was I saying was that those characters are strong. One of them uses green energy, the other uses blue energy, and I thought this is just in general. Those are two strong characters in the band and show, two strong aliens, transformations, whatever. And I think they're interesting, and I feel like a battle between them, it's actually pretty, uh, would be pretty cool to think about. So when it comes to Shockrock, he has, you know, power over electricity, you know, electronics sometimes, he can create shields. He's basically kind of like Gwen in, like, Alien Force and Ultimate Alien, when he can create constructs out of energy, but his are more like electricity, energy things whereas Ben uh sorry Gwen was making them uh, from mana you know so it's kind of like that it's kind of like a green lantern ish type of ability whereas atomics just has nuclear power and he attacks with like punches or kicks or whatever powered by a uh, nuclear power and he even like literally like I don't know how to say it. He throws nukes after people or creates uh, miniature stars, if you want. Because uh, if you know anything about stars, you know, nuclear power, that's how they they work and stuff. So he can create, like, small suns, small stars, which is actually pretty impressive. Now, when it comes to speed, it's not really that much of a difference between the two of them. One of them, it's nearly light speed and one it's like light speed shock rock you can say he's like able to react to lasers and stuff and characters in the reboot are able to react to lasers some of them are stated to be actually light or can bounce off of um you know things so they're like light speed and they can like sometimes dodge them sometimes not it's um uh, you know it's it's whatever <laughs> And when it comes to Ben 10, I already explained in my other videos that Ben 10 characters from the original series were dodging lasers and light speed attacks like all the time. It's literally no big deal. So that's about it, basically. The only thing we have to deal with now is power. And in terms of power, well, Shock Rock is able to defeat the Weatherheads who are able to create this storm. And it's actually confirmed that Shock Rock has enough power to create a similar storm and this storm for people who don't know produced enough energy that if let's say you would have punched with the force of this storm you would have been able to destroy like multiple continents you know so that's pretty strong whereas atomics it's able to destroy i mean just the planet because he's i think he's stated to be the second strongest character uh sorry transformation of ben after alien x which means that he's stronger than way big and depending when i'm posting this video uh you know how strong way big is i'm not gonna get into it but when you're gonna see the steven versus way big video you're gonna see that yeah uh if he's stronger than way big he's at least planet level so at the end of the day everything comes down to can shock rock destroy the planet or is he getting his ass whooped and the answer is he can't i actually personally asked one of the writers of ben 10 and he said no he said through the power over the high override he could like if he if he took the power of the high override which proves that the high override at least is plan level but shock rock himself is not plan level 
So that means that Atomics just is stronger than him, would overpower him and would beat him. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time. I'm out. Bye.